Singapore and China signed 24 Memorandums of Understanding MOUs and Agreements following the 19th Joint Council for Bilateral Cooperation, held on December 7. Here are some key announcements. Both sides will cooperate in areas like nuclear safety, radiation protection, biodiversity conservation and increased cooperation at various forums. This is in addition to existing cooperation in ecological civilization, circular economy and environmental governance. Singapore and China will work together to promote the creation of climate-friendly and livable cities, with the Tianjin EcoCity being used as a test bait. There will also be an annual ministerial-level dialogue between both sides, with the inaugural session having taken place in May 2023. Both sides will step up cooperation in the research and development of vertical farming and climate-resilient agriculture. They will also work on areas relating to the trade of agricultural products, as well as food security and supply. There will be a Singapore-China Digital Policy Dialogue established in the first half of 2024 to facilitate high-level discussions on development and policy issues in areas such as digital trade, artificial intelligence governance and commercial data flows. A green and digital shipping corridor will be set up between Singapore and Tianjin to support the decarbonisation, digitalization, and growth of the maritime industry. The route will serve as a test bed for digital solutions, alternative fuels and technology. Both cities will work with various stakeholders to ensure more efficient port clearance through digital exchange. Promote the use of new fuel technologies to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and spur innovation for startups. Singapore and Tianjin will work on a new project focusing on contemplative landscape design and therapeutic gardens. They will use the Singapore-China Friendship Garden in Tianjin EcoCity as a sandbox for climate change solutions that are also beneficial to the local community. Singapore and China will continue to strengthen education collaborations through exchanges at all levels. These include exchanges of scholars, students and interns, and attachments at technical and vocational institutes by educators. The education ministries of both countries will continue to offer teacher training in languages and work towards collaborating in other teacher capacity building schemes focused on areas such as digital education and lifelong learning. China and Singapore's central banks are piloting a new scheme to allow travelers from both countries to use digital yuan in Singapore and China. Discussions are also underway to potentially link PayNow and Union Pay, allowing for money to be easily transferred between both systems.